talk about a couple of things that Battlestate could do to improve Escape from Tarkov. I've, I've been talking to people for a long time about this, but it just seems that Escape from Tarkov has so many minute details, which is a, a great thing. But the problem is, is that there's so many like fundamentals that are just broken in the game. Everybody's heard of, you know, gro ghost grenades where, you know, you can't even hear the grenade uh, hit the ground. And then all of a sudden you just blow up and die. Or, you know, desync, which seems to be a super big problem in Escape from Tarkov. Uh, you know, I think people have been talking about uh, Peeker's advantage being reduced. Like, you know, where somebody's pushing you and you're holding a corner and they're given the advantage because uh, they're moving. And so they will see you because you're standing still before you see them going through the door. So, or coming around the corner you're holding. But there's a lot of things that still, you know, persist to this day in Tarkov. Uh, I mean, the, the Ground Zero map, amazing. But I think that their focus on putting too many ammo types in the game uh you know it's just it's really taking a lot of the attention away from the devs and it's putting it into silly things like that i i really don't think that we need more good or bad ammo types put into the game i think there's there's multiple new ammo types that were put into the game like it used to be m61 uh used to be you know the top shelf ammo type uh, now they have M993, and I mean, I don't know why they would need this. Um, I get it, every ammo variation, you know, like they all have their ups and downs, whether it's durability burn or penetration or high flesh damage and what have you, but I just think that all that stuff, there's just too much. And I think that that stuff can be implemented at another time uh, because, you know, we all love this realistic shooter for what it is. Um, and we, we love seeing real life things put into a game. But the thing is, is that, I mean, there's there's bugs and things. I, I don't know if any of you guys have, you know, had the, I'm sure you have, had the, uh, the scav awaiting session start bug. It's like every one out of three to one out of five scavs that I run. I, I get stuck on a waiting session start, and even if you wait 15 minutes into a, se uh, a waiting session start, it still doesn't work. And you can even Alt F4, get out of the game, come back in, and then reconnect to the game, and you're still stuck. So you essentially, if you get a, a waiting session start on your scav, and it's more than like 10 seconds, you pretty much just have to Alt F4 and confirm leave. So this kind of, <laughs> this has happened probably 10 times to me and super frustrating because you essentially are put back on a 20 minute cooldown or so on your scav, depending on what your intelligence center is. So there's that, I mean, that's a huge problem. And then uh, the other night we weren't even able to join it with groups into a game uh, for pretty much the whole night uh it was multiple hours where if you were in a group and the party leader started matching the other people in the group wouldn't be matching so another you know colossal <laughs> uh you know just error with you know like the devs and i i get it you know things happen to games and there's emergency maintenance and stuff that that's all good you know of course that happens but the awaiting session start bug, I think a lot of people have complained about and hasn't been fixed and it's been weeks. And I've never experienced this issue until this this wipe. So that's one issue that I think it needs to be addressed today. But there's there's plenty of other issues that we we all know about. Like I was saying, the ghost grenades. Um, but there's there's just other things that they that Battlestate could have their devs look at instead of making new guns that nobody is going to use unless they're forced to use it on a scav or something and i mean 
nobody's going to use the the bad ammo types if they don't have to. Like if you're on a PMC, you're never going to use an ammo type that is below what you can use from the flea market or from your traders. So all the, you know, 10 different ammo types that we need per caliber just makes no sense. I mean, yeah, I think you should have some good and some bad ones for different situations. I just don't think that we should go into so much depth on how many different ammo types there are, you know, I, at least for now. I think there's so many other problems that, you know, we need to we need to get this addressed. Another thing is I had a uh, I had a friend. Well, actually, I had a, my cousin has a friend who bought the game. And he tried to run it on a Mac. And I guess the game doesn't run on Mac. And so Battlestate is refusing to refund his standard edition game. So this is another thing that I don't think, you know, should be, should fly. Let's just say that. I think that that's super silly that, you know, like he, obviously it was up to him before, you know, buying the game to make sure that it was compatible with his computer, but I just, I feel like it should be, he should be refunded, you know, for his, his purchase of a digital game, um, that he wasn't able to play the second he bought it. So, I mean, they could tell his account lifetime is, you know, zero. So anyways, I know this is a long rant kind of, but I mean, I just wanted to get people's feedback and put this out there on how I feel about, you know, where where should the attention for the game devs be? Should it be on creating new content very frequently? Which I know we all love, but all the people that are playing are experiencing errors, bugs, just constant things that, you know, time and time again, it's not new stuff. This is, there there are new things, like I said, the awaiting session start, but this has been going on for weeks and there's ghost grenades still. There's there's a lot of things that have that have been going on. The desync's always been there. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of things. Of course, the cheaters. I know they're banning a lot of cheaters, but I also think that you know there's got to be a better system to this than just doing what they're doing because cheaters have always been a problem in this game, and I get it. Every other game has their problem with cheaters, but this game is a uh, <laughs> 10 times worse when you get killed by a cheater because you lose everything. So the cheater situation should be dealt with, you know, I, I, somebody was saying that they had hardware bans um, where they would ban your like GPU serial number or something. But I don't see that happening. I mean, I feel like if you were getting hardware banned as a cheater, you're not buying a new computer or anything, but maybe, maybe they're spoofing their hardware. I don't know. I just feel like the cheater situation is, pretty bad um i even killed the cheater the other day <laughs> who was clearly walling uh, i guess he didn't have enough money to get the aimbot but yeah i mean it is what it is I, I think that there's a lot of things that the the devs should be working on other than adding new content at least at the you know they they can add new content don't get me wrong but let's let's add some some fixes to the game too you know i mean we don't need all these Silly new ammo types and silly new guns. Like, nobody's going to use a sawed-off, okay? Like, very few people are using the revolver. Like, there's just so many guns that, like, you're not going to use unless you're forced to use it for a quest or something. So, this is just a long video about, you know, what I think should be changed. But, anyways, let me know if you guys think I missed anything. I'm sure there's plenty other things that... Battle state could be doing other than adding new silly items. But let me know in the comments what you guys think.